Isaiah chapter 36. In the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah's reign, Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, marched against all the fortified cities of Judah and captured them. The king of Assyria then sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem with a large army. Rabshakeh positioned himself by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway near the Fuller's field. Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, who was in charge of the household, along with Shebna the scribe and Joah, the son of Azaph, the recorder, went out to meet Rabshakeh. Rabshakeh said to them, Tell Hezekiah that the great king, the king of Assyria, asks, What is the basis for your confidence? You may speak of having counsel and strength for war, but on whom do you rely as you rebel against me? Is it on Egypt, that broken reed of a staff? If a man leans on it, it will pierce his hand. Such is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all who trust in him. But if you say to me, We trust in the Lord our God, isn't it Hezekiah who removed his high places and altars, saying to Judah and Jerusalem, You shall worship before this altar? Now make a bargain with my master, the king of Assyria, and I will give you two thousand horses if you can produce riders for them. How then can you repel one of the least of my master's servants, and rely on Egypt for chariots and horsemen? Moreover, have I come up against this land without the Lord's approval to destroy it? The Lord told me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Eliakim, Shebna, and Joah asked Rabshakeh to speak to them in the Aramaic language since they understood it, and not in the Judean language, as there were people on the wall listening. Rabshakeh responded, Has my master sent me to your master and you with this message and not to the people who sit on the wall? who will soon have to eat their own waste and drink their own urine along with you. Then Rabshakeh raised his voice and proclaimed in the Judean language, Listen to the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. The king says, Do not let Hezekiah deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you. Do not trust in the Lord, believing that he will surely save us. This city will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. Do not heed Hezekiah who says, The Lord will deliver us. Have the gods of other nations rescued them from the king of Assyria's hand? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphat? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? Have they delivered Samaria from my grasp? Among all the gods of these lands, who has saved their land from my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem from me? The people remained silent, obeying the king's command not to answer Rabshake. Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, Shebna the scribe, and Joah, the son of Azaph, the recorder, returned to Hezekiah with torn clothes and reported Rabshakeh's words.